Lionel Messi has turned down a £1 billion offer to go to into Miami. David Beckham's into Miami. But is this his swan song? Has he just gone there for a paycheck? And why has he turned down Barcelona? We'll find out all that in this video. So please subscribe and let's get into the intro. Hello all, obviously the big news is that Lionel Messi, a World Cup winner, a multiple Ballon d'Or winner, has gone to Inter Miami CF, as what I've just been told. Um, like I said, David Beckham's uh, club, a coincidence that uh, Phil Neville got sacked just before Lionel Messi arrived. I don't know whether that's because of the way that Lionel Messi does with his contracts, but in terms of position, in terms of place, in terms of where he is in his career, is this the right move? Cal, thank you for joining us, obviously, on the multiple channels that we're on. Like I said, is this the right move for Lionel right now? Do you know what? If if you say to me, you win all the trophies that Lionel Messi has, which is all of them, multiple times, and then you win the World Cup to top it off for your country, you've won everything for your country and for your club, I think, personally, I would love a nicely well-paid holiday in Miami to play football <laughs> for a bit. My family can live in a beautiful house in Miami and crack on with the end of my football career. I think it often gets made a lot about things like this. When a player is so good and so special like that, I remember when Ronaldo went to uh, Al Nasser in Saudi Arabia and we talk about the money and things like this. Let's be honest, these are two footballers that do not at any any sense need money it's more for an experience it's more for international branding in a sense like that so Messi going to Miami isn't for a big paycheck or anything like that he's going over there because it's an absolutely beautiful place to live he's done he's finished with the game why wouldn't you be at the age he's at he's finished he's won everything he's still an unbelievable player but it's time now to go and enjoy the culture of a new place, somewhere that's a beautiful place to live and obviously get paid for it as well. But I just see it as a brand new adventure for his family, to be honest. I think there were rumours on the table of a move to Saudi. There was rumours of a reunion with Barcelona. But there were some things online that were saying that his family actually chose Miami because it's a new adventure as a family, isn't it? It's closer to the native home of Argentina. And I just think it makes I think it's quite lovely for him, actually. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about that. Uh, how close it is compared to where he was before, especially at PSG, where he wasn't really the most loved. And I think you're right with the comparison with Ronaldo as well regarding a different adventure. Obviously, he got linked to Saudi Arabia, and I think that well, it could have been a coin flip, I suppose. But um, if it's a family thing, which I didn't know about, then absolutely, I, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't go over there. I think that the fact that, again, we'll, we'll make this a quick video because everyone knows about Lionel Messi, don't um, I think that he didn't choose Barcelona ultimately because look at what Ronaldo did at Manchester United. It, just leave it. Just make, you know, have the fond memories. Don't go back and make yourself... I know he won't do, but a villain, essentially, the person who, you know, make people believe you could still do it in La Liga rather than go back and sort of be the not not so uh, as great player that he once were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. you know, leave him on a high, leave him with something to believe rather than something that you didn't want to see. And I, I think, think one thing on that point, sorry, John, is the, the one thing that differentiates Messi with Ronaldo with that is he left in COVID, didn't he? He never got a full yeah. camp new to say goodbye to. And that is one thing in this whole discussion that where I did sort of want him to go back, even if it was just for one season, just so that at the end of it, yeah. he could have that emotional goodbye in front of everybody. That's the well, only thing. The thing is as well with the, the likelihood of going to America, which he is going to now, is that they do have off seasons and it isn't in the same season period as, as the European League. So, he could easily be back at Barcelona on loan for free, probably <laughs> yeah, at some point. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be something in place. Um, obviously, because Barcelona don't have much money as it stands, but to buy players, and it, that's another whole, that's a whole another story, isn't it? But yeah. <laughs> um, Lionel Messi in his swan song at into Miami CF, um, and I think that we're both. So I'm just intrigued to see how he is over there. I'm sure he will be the best player by a long shot. <laughs> you know, any final words on this, Cal? 
Yeah, just um, I think a lot has been made of it, perhaps too much, just because of the amount of clubs that were involved in the saga around which club he was going to choose to play for in the end. Um, I'd just like to see it as that, as a beautiful new adventure for him and his family. After the seismic action of winning the World Cup, you don't understand how much of a toll that must take on a player <laughs> to go and do that after having a whole career of them saying, well, you won't be Maradona because you haven't won the World Cup. And then you finally go and do it. I am not surprised one iota that he finished this season with PSG after winning that World Cup. And now he's decided that's it. It's time to just enjoy now. So fair play, Leo. And I hope you enjoy living in Miami with loads of money in the beautiful sunshine. And I hope it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I hope you have a lovely life with a lovely yeah. wife and lovely children, you beautiful player. <laughs> Well, we're told than you. So. <laughs> it's messy. No, well, it? <laughs> a beautiful player and one that deserves all the riches that he gets because uh, he has given us with thousands of memories over probably the next decade, doesn't he? You'll be remembered oh, yeah. as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, in world for football. Me, and no question. No absolutely question. that is another one for another topic for another day <laughs> but if you haven't already can you go subscribe to the channels mine Carl's and the podcast channel themselves uh we do enjoy these and carl has been putting them out every single day so we go go over there especially because i'm sure by the time this comes out there's another few going out <laughs> um and Who we knows? will see you all <laughs> we will see you all very very soon Ch cheers guys see you later cheers see you later